So much of our world is invisible to us. Its secrets locked in time and space. But alter that time and space, and the once invisible world suddenly becomes visible. By manipulating light, we manipulate the world we see. Using a fast flashing artificial light or a strobe light, it's possible to freeze minute moments of time and even the fastest moving objects. One of the pioneers in the use of strobe lighting was Professor Harold Edgerton. With ordinary light, the human eye is incapable of seeing these drops, and they, so it appears like a continuous stream. But if now if I flash a strobe on it in synchronism at exactly 60 times per second, then the drops will appear like they're standing still. If you synchronize one flash of these fast lights with a camera, it's possible to get a high-quality still image of the fastest movement imaginable. Like a bullet traveling at 2,800 feet per second. The next challenge for scientists was to catch these events in one continuous movement. The film normally moves through a camera at 25 frames per second. If we film at very high speed, such as 500 frames per second, and play the action back at normal speed, the effect is the slowing of time, showing an event in minute detail. Stilling, or slowing down events, has been very useful for scientists. But just as useful for revealing the hidden secrets of our world is speeding those events up. This process is called time-lapsed photography. Fruit normally takes around two weeks to rot, but by taking one shot of the fruit every four seconds for two weeks, and then running the film at normal speed, Scientists can see this process taking place in 30 seconds. In our attempts to understand the natural world, time-lapsed photography has been particularly valuable. One particular shot which has given us great pleasure at OSF is a sequence which I took of the destruction of a dead mouse carcass by blowfly maggots. You take a shot of a thing without really knowing what it's going to do, other than, you know, the beginning stage and the end stage you're aiming at. But in between that, uh, it's... it's um, it's fairy tale land. 